Yeah, you heard me. They do. And I hate all of them. Roll the intro. So, you might be thinking that I finally lost it. But I didn't, I swear. Before we continue, obvious spoiler warning for The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Edward Scissorhands, The Corpse Bride, The Good Dinosaur, The Shape of Water, and Lost in Translation. This is just gonna be a ramble, so like, no elaborate thought process. This is just stuff I noticed throughout the years and I'm kinda sick of it. So my story of pure loathness towards these endings starts when I was a little four-year-old baby and watched Edward Scissorhands with my dad for the first time. Now, I don't remember much of it, but I remember that there's this guy who has hands that are super sharp blades and he was created by a scientist who is Vincent Price and then his creator dies and he ends up meeting Winona Ryder and they're in love but they can't be together because they're different and I was just kind of pissed I just couldn't understand why why can't you be together if my memory doesn't fail me, she's telling this story about this guy she loves and is like, but she can't be with, to her kids. So why don't you go up the, the mountain or whatever, whatever he lives and like, go be with him, you know? And shortly thereafter, I watched The Corpse Bride. This guy is gonna get married to this girl, but he accidentally gets married to a corpse bride. And I think he ends up liking her. Honestly, it's difficult to believe that someone wants to quit life and to be with their corpse bride just because they feel bad for her. But who knows, he's spineless in ways previously unknown to men. But I think he likes her. But then they can't be together because they're different. And in this case, I know that I'm advocating for Dumb. Leah, but like, hear me out. Yeah, I just wanted him to be with Emily, so like, whatever. <laughs> and they can't be together because they're different. Okay, then I got a break from these terrible endings by watching The Lovely Bones over and over and over again. Then, a number of years later, I watched The Good Dinosaur with a friend. And yeah, all people remember about this movie was that the scenery was absolutely gorgeous and then they decided that green play-doh was to roam the earth. And other than that, that it was sorta bland. But I cried like a baby because of the onion forsaken ending. Basically, human child and dino child become besties, but in the end they can't be together because Guess what? They're different from each other. This one is especially egregious because the kid, this feral, abandoned kid, clearly doesn't want to go away with this human family that they literally just met. But the dino pushes him to do it. Why? Let the kid live with you and then in the future you can have the sequel where he goes on a journey looking for his people, blah 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 blah. And then... <clears throat> Last year, me and my friend watched The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. The movie has a lot of issues. I might make a video trying to, I don't know, brainstorm ideas on how to fix this. In particular, I wanted to see a giant baby. Like, I wanted to see the giant baby. He was a baby, an elderly baby. I wanted to see a baby the size of an adult. But they didn't do that. I was angry. Okay. After like two and a half hours of watching this movie drag, I find out that it also has the worst, worst, worst type of ending possible. Basically, this guy ages backwards and after a lot happens, him and Kate Blanchett end up together. But then he's like, hey, it's gonna be weird having a super young guy with you aging and 
blah blah blah, you deserve a normal life. I'm actually speechless. I don't know if this is a taste I was just literally born with or if these endings are actually bad, but like... Oh my god! I guess this type of ending can be done well. I don't know, maybe something like Lost in Translation. I don't like that movie, by the way. But the whole careers, divorce and kids makes it more believable that they can't be together. But the whole we can't be together because we're different and no other reason just does not sit well with me. Talking would have solved everything. Communication is always the key, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's my verdict. If it would have been fixed by talking and the movie has no plot about the characters being bad at communicating, don't do it. It's just a cheap tearjerker. Please stop it, Hollywood. Maybe this is why I love The Shape of Water and some other movies that are just like, yeah, we're different, I love you so much. And probably also because of- Hey, editing leave taking over the video. You can thank me for saving you from a 20 minute trauma dump by liking the video, commenting and subscribing and checking out my other videos. Maybe you find something you like. Thank you so much for watching this little rant of mine. And I'll make more videos if an anvil doesn't fall on my head. Bye!